All right, guys, we are here at the very end of the Anchor Mastery course. Wow, uh, I learned a ton, man. Yeah. This has been so cool. So I know the question, in, in case you guys maybe have skipped around, I get it. You're wondering, all right, just tell me, rank them from best to worst. Okay, this and is it. And you kind of line it up here on the beach, little teaser. Drum roll, please. So we're talking about now just in general skiffs, bay boats, Okay. right? Yeah. I mean, for the most part fishing here, because obviously if you're in a 40 foot boat, you might this might change, but mm -hmm. fishing boats for catching inshore slams, mm -hmm. what do we got? Inshore best to worst. Slams, baby. Uh, okay, let's start. You had to pick. Let's just start right here. I've got them laid out in order, and I'll talk a little bit about why um, I think they work best. This is the breeze anchor here. Um, mind you, don't take into account the size. Like obviously, if you have an anchor that weighs 200 pounds, it's gonna hold without anything. But we just looked at the shape. This is the anchor that I keep on my bay boat. This is on the Salt Strong Yellowfin. This is the anchor. This is a 22 pound bruise. It's the largest bruise anchor that I can fit in my hatch. And it, it holds in any bottom, every bottom. I can feel comfortable if I get caught in a thunderstorm, if I'm gonna anchor up next to a rock jetty. This anchor here will hold me. I don't need to use much chain. I can use 3 8 inch galvanized chain. That's only about five feet. And um, I can pick this all up in one motion. There's no chain dragging on the side of the boat. I drop it off the side, I feel safe. And in general, that did the best this did on the best all bottoms. Of all bottoms. Yep. And it's cool, you know, really hard rock bottom. This little front tip wants to hold. If it doesn't, it'll slide over and then this blade here will actually grab on that bottom that like a fluke anchor is not going to penetrate. Yep. So it has that grabbing power. So best right there. Um, you can go, get away with a smaller one. Make sure you get an oversized anchor for your boat. Um, but I love this anchor. It fits on my boat, but you could go down to like a 16 pound or a 14 pound. This style of anchor and shape um, performed the best for sure. The second best was a little bit of a tie between a and a very large, very heavy, very well-made fluke anchor. This is uh, a West Marine fluke anchor. They actually make really good anchors. Galvanized steel, it's really heavy. And, um, and why this fluke anchor worked better than the other fluke anchors is that the angle was pretty, pretty um, if you can look right in there, it's a larger angle. So it allowed you to grab more earth and more rocks to stop the boat. And, um, and it's just a well, well-designed anchor. Where, where did that do the, the, the best and the worst in what scenarios? So in, in sand, this anchor did well. Okay. Um, it would go in quick. Makes sense. Because we ranked it on how far that it would drag. We wanted an anchor that you could, that would just hit the bottom and hold. Like you shouldn't have to drag an anchor 20 feet for it to find a rock, right? You want it to go in, hold. Any moment now, we'll hit a rock. Yeah, buddy. if you're on hard, hard sand bottom or like gravelly bottom, this anchor a lot of times would go down and the, and the flukes wouldn't catch in and it would lean over and it would just drag and sometimes it would never hold. Um, kind of tied with it here is this plow anchor. I like this anchor. This is another anchor that I carry on my boats. It's stainless steel. I've got a six foot, three eighths inch stainless steel chain. It doesn't, just easy to store. If you have a windlass on the front of your boat, this is a great anchor. This anchor did really well in just about all bottoms. This is probably the safest anchor. So a fluke anchor is gonna go down. And because of this bar here and the angle and shape, it's meant to hold good and tight, but it's only gonna go so deep. Yep. The style of a plow anchor is when it goes down, it just keeps going down. Once it starts, it, it just goes deeper. deeper. It'll disappear. It'll go three, four, five feet down if you pull harder. So if you need a safe anchor, if you're gonna moor overnight, if you're gonna keep your boat out off the end of your dock or something, you're gonna camp. Once this anchor's in, this is probably the best anchor based on what we saw. Um, but it, it doesn't do, I mean, it really did well in just about every application. Yeah. So I like that anchor Yo a lot. Plow. Let's talk about the mushroom anchor. There's nothing wrong with the mushroom anchor. This anchor is designed um, just to be used for weight and friction. So if you've got a small boat or light wind, it just holds. Um, soft bottom will actually turn over and grip some of that mud, but uh, you know, it's, it's in a league of its own. It doesn't really compete with these other anchors. So it's a really cool anchor, but yeah. it's not a safe anchor. It's gonna drag. It's not gonna hold your bigger boat in place. Um, so next, let's talk about these grapple or grapnel anchors. Um, these are designed for a certain purpose. 
if it's really rocky, reefy, if you're gonna be anchoring around some tree limbs or maybe some big rocks, this is designed to go down there and hold those rocks. And you're gonna rig it up in a certain way, as you saw in the videos, where it can break free and you're not gonna lose it. It also works really well on shallow grass flats. If you don't wanna tear up the grass, you're just gonna slide it in without a, without a chain. It's quiet, fish don't hear it. Slide it right in, it's real light. It's a cool anchor, but um, it doesn't hold well at all in sand. Like, it goes down in the sand and it just drags. So it's limited use, but it's very effective um, when you use it how it was made for. The other anchor here, this is another grapple or grapnel anchor. Thanks, cool. This was not good. <laughs> so we used some different sizes. I just brought this one it out here. It does fit your pocket, though. This one will fit in your pocket. <laughs> uh, folds up. It's pretty handy. You think it would be great. It kind of works okay for a kayak, but I was very disappointed in the performance of this anchor for how widely used it is. It's sold everywhere. It just, there's really no bottom that this thing does well in. If it's in mud, these blades slide through it. If it's rocky, it bounces along. Um, this shape of anchor was one of my least favorite anchors here. Grappler grapnel. I see some things behind it. So okay, we're, so we we're moving down the... to negative territory. This here is a smaller West Marine fluke anchor built very well. Um, but where it didn't do well is that it's too small. So maybe for a little tiny John boat or something like that. But when you're anchoring in sand or gravel or anything like that, the, the particles, the material are large in ratio according to the size of this anchor. So an anchor needs to set, this needs to get down on the bottom and set. And this anchor was just a little bit too small. So you'll see in these videos, I'll put you know appropriate force against it. Obviously this is way too small of an anchor for a larger flats boat or a bay boat, but watching it get set, if the if the sand was too hard or the, or the particles are too big it would just kind of roll over and it would drag like this and never get set so size does matter with these fluke anchors oh and, the old right. fortress so give it a pan back here i would say <laughs> it's kind of a tie i don't want to throw this under the bus like this isn't like i'm throwing the brand under the bus but um this is a very popular anchor, right? Yeah, Luke Luke just got one. Okay. In a garage sale, so I'll give him, uh, give him credit. He thought he got a steal of a deal because they're expensive. They're expensive. So this is a fluke anchor. It's aluminum. It's lightweight. This thing weighs like nothing. Um, everybody that somebody has had one or has one of these. And I was very disappointed in the performance of this anchor and lots of different bottoms for lots of different reasons. And as we saw in the videos, it's pretty interesting. And the hard bottom, it just wanted, it just, it didn't have enough weight within itself, even with heavy chain, to keep those flukes it's in. Be effective. It just right? wasn't, it just drug on the bottom. And then something that I found, because um, I'll tarpon fish in muddy bottoms a lot, the, sl the slope of these um, blades here is too shallow. So once this gets caked in with mud, then it's not effective anymore. It doesn't continue to plow down. It just drags. So you drop it in, it grabs mud, it grabs a rock, and it just drags through. So super disappointing on this anchor, and I thought it was gonna do really well. I have two of these, and man, it was kind of a failure. On, sitting in your garage. I will not use that anchor. But and there's one at the very, very end. That, show, show everybody this guy. Ah! A poorly made, I mean, just look at that compared to like the, the big boy. Um, and and you, you obviously can't feel it, but just imagine, it just feels cheap. Feels cheap. Yeah. But everybody has it. So wouldn't you think that that would be a good anchor or it would kind of work? This it doesn't work. This is, what you, this is what you see at the, a lot of sandbars. <laughs> a sandbars boats will, <laughs> now you gotta, this is how you know an anchor is not good. Here, let me see it. When you see the, the person get out of their boat, and they've got to physically like push it in and then you go to retrieve it and it just pulls like right up out of the ground but anyway i've owned dozens of these anchors and um, it's just this is the 39 dollars anchor you're going to find at the store um, it's a fluke anchor but it just doesn't work we put a lot of chain on no chain and it just we couldn't get this anchor to work in really any condition so for safety and fishability, if you have this anchor, like you should get another anchor. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's it's not like buying a 
pair of cheap polarized glasses at the at the convenience store that could still work like we're now talking about legit safety right if you have poor glasses on it's not in the world you're not going to lose your life like you you could actually endanger people with this sure. especially in current especially for a lot of other boats yeah. uh there, there's a big reason besides just saving money having good a good anchor that holds and yeah. catching more fish i mean this is a massive safety concern it is. You have to be able to anchor your boat. You never know in the condition you're going to get in. Your anchor yep. cuts out and you're in a storm. You don't want to drift out through the bridge, drift out in the ocean. Yep. Like you got to have an anchor that's going to hold you, not going to hold you. Yep. So guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the course. Hopefully this was helpful. And uh, hopefully we didn't uh, cause you to go out and have to buy all, all new Bruce's. <laughs> but uh, those things do work. This is really, really cool. What a fun course. I learned a ton. I know you learned a ton. That's yeah. always when we know sure. it's a success when uh, Deeks is like, man, I, I learned a whole lot about these things. So if you guys have any questions, let us know down below. We would love to get to them. We'd love to. And if we missed any, if there's any anchors that maybe you've seen, maybe you brought one back from Europe or something that's new and fancy, we'd love yeah. to go test it out. Yeah, there's so many different types of anchors. This was super fun because I learned a lot. And um, yeah, it was cool. Yeah. I hope you guys learned something too and, uh, and you get a better anchor for your boat or fix up the one you got. See you on the next course. Pow! And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll be catching more fish while saving time and money. We do this through our premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.